Hello, my friends here at Joy to the World. Welcome to my channel. I'd love to have you subscribe and be here with me and be a part of this. I'm your reader, Melissa Joy. So what week is this for? I don't know. Well, today is, let's see, it'll be like the 5th, the 6th through like the 12th, I think, if you're showing up calendarically. But these are timeless reads. They're time capsules. That's just the time that people go, ooh, it's during that week. Let me tune in. Let me hear what's going on. It's forever and ever, y'all. Whenever you open it up and you set your eyes on it, they like water the seed and the thing springs to life before you. If this message is for you, it is for you, my friend. And I got to tell you, they're talking about a lot of conflict going on in the atmosphere. And it's things kind of trying to distract you because, yeah, there is some thunder. There is some rumbling. There is that a bit of trepidation, some danger. Some of it could be anesthesia of people just checking out and just being like, oh, I just, mm, I'm asleep. Rumble still skin when it's over. Wake me up. That's one too, my friends. So I tell you, be alert and not like, doom, 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 doom. No mission impossible type stuff, y'all. It means be awake, be alert, be attentive to your dreams and your desires and that roadway that we have been paving in the last month or two, okay? Those little things, they have added up and they have begun to be like, it's restored your compass first so that you know the direction that you're going and what you are, we'll say driving towards for lack of better words, but as you're moving towards it, it is coming towards you. Um, but there's this, this split in the atmosphere that is coming. The separation between those who believe and those who don't believe. And believe for what? Just your beliefs from yourself. like. Do I want to sit here and keep proving it and earning it and deserving it and being worthy of it and having all that trouble and having all that difficulty, old Saturn, old Saturn, old world, old notion? Or do I want to open up to the effortlessness and the ease, the sun and Jupiter merging together and dancing and delighting in this world, like being resurrected as a child who has wisdom and a driver's license and a checkbook? You got what I'm saying? That magic wants to enter your life now. That's just being separated because either you have one heart or you have the other. Because the wisdom in there, it doesn't mean you're foolish or you're stupid. It means you're divine. You're divine and you're right on time, friend. So the encouragement of the big message, like I could pull a bunch of cars, but they're like, it is in the few because it's not going to be in the distraction, the signs and in the proof. They said, you've already begun to connect with what is feeling right to you and what is starting to show up and tingle and like, sparkle and percolate the cells of your mind and you're following that path. So I said, move forward in that direction. And this rip, this tear in the universe is going to swallow up all the things that have been swallowing you up, that have been harassing you, irritating you, chasing you down, destroying you, maybe even circling around and dragon flying you and taking you in. That's why I'm so glad dragonfly spirit has shown up here. It's like, I'll fight for you. You let me handle that multi-point perspective, the multiverse. I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that while you focus on the universe. You focus on the one thing. You focus on staying in the center of yourself, being full of yourself, enjoying your life, experiencing your life, delighting in your life, processing the, the things that the enemy or those, pardon me y'all, ants, those difficulties are bringing towards you as reminders and be like, yeah, I know, I see, but that's not me anymore. Or yeah, I, I see you there, but I, I won't agree with you. No, you can't come into my mind. I'm not putting you on my plate. I'm not putting you in my mouth. I'm not putting you in my stomach. Get out. Goodbye. Click. That type of energy. Still keep doing what you've been doing, friend. That's really the big message for this week. It is power packed. And when it's like that, it's dunamis power. It's like a nuclear. And when it's going into the nucleus, it's going into your divine nature. It's going into everything just by focusing on the one thing. So just keep going, my friend. And this is going to swallow it up and close it up and watch what begins to happen. Your wheel is going to turn and I hear it go, wee! It's spinning with delight and glee, my friend. Because that's that youthful exploration. That is that joyful expression coming through you. But that's why it's called joy to the world. I wanted to infect the world with joy, my joy. And the neat thing about joy is, is when it comes into you, it's whatever flavor, whatever savor lights you up. It's like me giving you a gift card. That's really what we're doing. Joy is like the stem cell of life. It goes in and it mends and it fixes and it adorns and it juices up and it addresses everything in our system. I'm a hear you. I hear you. 
it is the power that restores our divine nature. <laughs> so if life has ever crushed you, or you've lost things that were very precious, or you felt destroyed, or you wondered, could you keep on going? Then you have joy inside of you, my friend. There's no other reason why something would come to destroy you because you're aware that there's something in there that you want to see come forward in your life, whether it's been named or identified or whatever. Because the thing is, it is a multiverse. It might seem like that one thing, but it opens up into everything and it blesses you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So here's joy to the world. All right, world. All right, life. Awaken that joy in us and thank you that you, Dragonfly Spirit, Dragonfly Energy, are going to take care of what has been hindering us and harassing us and been trying to take care of us. Mm -mm. We are in our truth now and we are awake and we are alive and we are active and we are aware and we're moving forward and putting our attention on what we love, what we desire, what we enjoy, because that is truly what life is. It's in the living, the experience, the experience of what you prefer. Do you need to take on shiz dis so that other people think you just like them? Do you want to be just like them? Do you want to eat shiz dis? Do you want to put a turd on your plate and cut it up and serve it like birthday cake? I don't think so. So let's not do that in our spiritual life either. Because it is as we breathe in spirit that we have the power for the, the machine, the body, the suit to live out in this world and begin to create. All right. Lots of little seeds of riddles and mysteries all up in there for your soul and yourself to untuck and to uh, open up in your week and your day and in your life. I'm wishing you well, friend. If you like this, hit that subscribe button. Join my channel. I'd love to have you here. Tickle, tap, touch that like button. You can even, oh, James Brown it. I would love you to get YouTube all stirred up about this. Leave your comments and compliments down below. Until I see you next time, friend. I love you. Bye.